Hello, welcome to another Mono Game Tutorial Series video. Today we're going to be rendering text. We're going to be using the most common method, which is using uh, true type fonts, otherwise known as TTFs. So how do you get your hands on a TTF? Well, you can just look up TTF free download on Google and find a million results, pick the one you like, and you're good to go. Now, how do you use it in Mono Game? Well, the recommended way is to install it on your machine. Um, and this is really, really simple. You just find your font that you want. If I go to my font uh, folder here, and then I just click on one and right click it, and I hit uh, install, you'll see that it'll say installing, and there you go. Now it's installed in your machine. It can't get simpler than that. Now we have to actually use it. And so the way we do that is we open up our content. Uh, uh, get that little error and it pops up here and now we want to put it into our content pipeline um, I recommend being organized and creating a folder for it so I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm just gonna call it fonts and then inside of here I will add in and this is we don't actually add in the font itself instead we add a new item here we have all these options here and we want the sprite font I'm gonna call it um, I don't know YouTube fonts YouTube font dot sprite font. Okay, create it. And now we have to go ahead and uh, build it. As you can see, it built perfectly fine. Uh, but we just have like a simple sprite font here. How do we actually make it so that it picks the font we want? Well, we have to go into it, open it up in Visual Studio. And you can see we have this data here. Um, we have the font name, the size, the spacing. You can mess around with all this stuff. But here we want to find um, the name of our font. Now it's tempting to just grab the name from the file, but it's actually not exactly the same, and I'm not really sure why they do that. But if you go to your fonts, which if you just type in the search bar fonts and open it up here, it'll open up all your fonts. The one I want is this 8-bit operator plus 8 regular, which is very long-winded, but if we do 8-bit, make sure it is um, the same amount of capitalization too, because it is case sensitive. So operator plus space H and then space regular for me. Okay, and I'm also, while I'm here, I'm going to make the size 24 now because I think it's better. And then I'm going to, so if we just do a rebuild here, um, we can see that we are now, um, it did, everything did succeed. So we're not having any issues with like, you know, fonts not being found. Now, how do we use it? Well, it's really, really simple. So the first thing is we have to treat it like any other asset and we have to create um, a variable and then load it in using the content loader. So I'm going to create a um, private uh, member variable instead of our game class. I'm just gonna make it a, of type sprite font. I'll just call it font for now. And then of course we have to do it in our load content here. This is where we're loading all of our content. So I will just go over here and say font equals content dot load. And then here we have to specify um, the type and I want to load in a sprite font so I'm going to specify a sprite font and then the name same thing here as the um, loading in like images the only difference is since we were organized hopefully um, it's going to be inside of a folder so I go into my fonts folder and then pick out the name I think I named mine YouTube font right yeah YouTube font okay so now we have a font successfully now how do you use it it's really really simple just go into your sprite batch begin and end and go in between that and then make a draw call so sprite batch dot and then you want to do draw string and here you want to specify the font that you're using so it's just the font that we've just made and just some random text so like hello world and then a position i'm going to do vec 2.0 here and then a color i'm going to do color uh, dot white okay and that's it just go ahead and run it awesome we have text very cool stuff so that's pretty much it i mean i can show you some like cool little features uh if you want to make like a score which is a very common use case what you do is you keep track of your score as an actual variable here initialize it to zero for good practice and then i'm just going to create like a little um little is key pressed uh, function here so we have to do bool is space pressed equals false and then we'll just say like in the update here we'll say if keyboard dot get state dot is key down uh, keys dot space and not is space press this prevents us from just pressing it a million times every frame then we want to increment score and set is space press to true and then otherwise 
is space pressed is false. Okay, and then here to, to show it, uh, it's very, very simple. We could literally just do like quotes here, score, colon, and then just plus our score. Very cool stuff. And now I'm going to change the vector two to be a little nicer. So new vector two, I'm gonna make it 50 over, 50 down. Amazing, we have a score, and now we can press space. Look at that. And now the thing isn't working, which is funny. So my um, thing didn't work. So you can see that if I just hold it down, it'll go forever. Oh, right. Because it can't just be else. It has to be um, if keyboard dot get state dot is key up keys dot space um, is space pressed equals false. That should fix it, right? Maybe. Yeah, now we just press space and it goes up by one. So there you go. Um, there's not really much else that goes into it. Uh, if you want red text, it's really simple. You just make it like color dot red and run it. And amazing, your text is red. Um, text isn't that hard in Monogame. What what is really hard is when you want to make your own custom uh, pixel perfect text, which is what I like to do. Um, this involves creating a bitmap for it and a special font render that is heavily. Um, can vary depending on your preferences and it's also very complex so it's not really fit for a single tutorial video but if you would like it uh, make sure to let me know and I'll show you how to work with bitmap fonts uh, but this should take care of 99% of people's you know uh, desires when it comes to font rendering so thank you very much for watching have a good day see ya